So we have here a problem saying, uh, here's two functions, right, f of g, and I want you to compose different combinations, f of g, g of f, f of f, f, g of g. Right? I'm not going to go through every single one of these things, because if you see the idea for one or two of them, you should get how this is going to work. But I do want to explain what this top half portion means, answers may take any form, and the bottom half, which is combined like terms, limiting parentheses, all that. So if you look at the top portion, what I mean when I say answer may take any form is I mean you don't have to simplify it. You could put in something that is far from simplified as long as it's correct. Anything that's correct will be given points. The purpose of this is I want to know if you understand the basic idea and maybe you're just getting tripped up in some of the algebra. Uh, if that's the case, you should be getting a good half credit here. So let me give you an example of what I would say for one of the top questions. We'll do f of g. Okay, we'll do this guy. So f of g means, remember, I'm going to rewrite this in a form that makes it a little more obvious to me, just so I can think this through. I'm going to say f of g of x, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to write my equation f, which is something squared minus 9 times something. And into that something, that's where I put g. That's x plus 8 and x plus 8. That's it. That's all I want for this first part right here. If you can say that much, that tells me, ah, okay, you know how these basically work. Now what's next is actually doing the simplification. So down here for this guy, I would say, okay, well, let's, let's do some more work now. Um, I'm going to write this over again so you can see how this is going to go. This is x plus 8 squared minus 9 times x plus 8. Now we just have to simplify that. So on the left, we have x squared plus 16x plus 64. On the right, we have minus 9x minus 72, if I remember. So now we combine like terms, and I say, OK, that's x squared. I've got 16x minus 9x, so that's going to be plus 7x. And then 64 minus 72, uh, probably minus 8. So that's what would go down here, x squared plus 7x minus 8. All the terms are combined as much as I can. There's no more parentheses, etc. Okay, so that's the idea. And it might be that one of these other ones is giving you a little trouble, like f of f. Let's just talk about what f of f would actually be. f of f, oops, I just wrote f of g. f of f literally means you compose a function with itself. So you could think of it this way, f of f of x. Meaning, we take the f function, which is x squared minus 9x, okay? I'm going to take something squared minus 9 times something, and into that equation, in place of all the x's, I put x squared minus 9x, okay? So x squared minus 9x, x squared minus 9x. Now, there's going to be some simplification to work through, like normal, but in the top portion of this problem, you could just put this as your answer. In the bottom portion, I would want you to break open those parentheses, gather like terms, do all the foiling, etc.